안녕하십니까? 니콜라스입니다. And today we are going to learn how to build awesome, beautiful presentations for the web using a super cool presentation framework called Reveal.js. Using Reveal.js, we can build interactive web presentations that have lots of features. Using just HTML, Reveal.js generates slides for us. It supports vertical slides, it supports code syntax, code animations, and highlighting element animations. It supports markdown and it has slide fragments that can be customized and animated. It also supports custom image, videos and GIFs backgrounds for our slides. It also has background and slide transition among many other things. So let's get started. Here is how our HTML looks like. Here we are importing three CSS files and two JavaScript files. All of these files we can download from the Reveal.js GitHub. Reveal.css are the base styles for our slide. Black CSS is the theme that we want our slides to have. There are other themes we can choose as well. Monokai CSS is what will make our code look pretty. On the JavaScript side, we are importing Reveal.js, which is the engine for the presentation, and Highlight.js to highlight and animate our code. Then we are initializing Reveal.js with the Highlight plugin. We also have to add a Reveal class to our body, and inside of it, we create a div with a Slides class. Here is where we will put our slides and we're good to go. Creating slides is super easy. All we have to do is go inside of the div with the slides class and add a couple of sections with some text inside of it. Just by doing that, our page will now look like this. Each section has become a slide. We get a nice animation, a progress bar. We can navigate with the keyboard and we even get a navigation indicator. If we add sections inside of a section, we get vertical slides as shown by the navigation indicator. If we add the data background color attribute to a section that will change the background of the slide and we will even get a super nice color transition. To display code inside of a section we use the pre and code tags that will give us a slide with a block of code that looks like this. To give numbers to the lines of code we can add the data line numbers attribute which will result in our code looking like this. The data line numbers attribute is pretty powerful. We can use it to selectively highlight parts of the code, like on this case, where we are saying that we want to highlight lines one to four, line seven, and line 11. This will give us a result like this. If we want to, we can also highlight our code step by step. Like here, where we are saying we want to first highlight the lines 1 to 4, then lines 6 to 8, and then lines 10 and 11. So when we go to that slide, as we navigate with the keyboard, each part of the code will be highlighted on the order we wrote. Fragments are another cool feature that allow us to reveal elements on a slide one by one with an animation. Adding this slide that contains a bunch of p tags with a fragment class will have this effect. Each p tag will be revealed one by one as the user presses the right arrow on the keyboard. If we want to, just by adding a class name, we can specify the animation used when the fragments are revealed. If we wrap our fragments with a div that has a R stack class, the fragments will show one by one on top of each other. Animating elements between slides is super easy. Here we have two slides with a data auto animate attribute. Because both of these slides have an H1 that says hello, Reveal.js will detect them as equal elements and it will animate their position between the two slides. This also works with lists. Here we have two slides with two lists. As you can see, C, C++ and Rust are on both lists and both slides have the data auto animate attribute. So now when we go to the slides, our list will be beautifully animated. We can even animate custom HTML elements, like here, where we have a 400 by 400 box with a border radius of 10 pixels on the first slide. And on the second slide, we have the same box, but with a border radius of 200 pixels. Since this is just a div, Reveal.js can't possibly know that the div from the first slide is the same as the second one. This is why we write the data ID on both boxes to tell Reveal.js that they are the same. That will give us an animation like 
like so. Another cool thing that Reveal.js has is the overview mode. All we have to do is press the escape key and we will get a bird's eye view of our slides. Reveal.js has a JavaScript API that can control the presentation programmatically. It also has events if you want to execute your own code when something happens on the presentation and it has other plugins like Markdown, Search, Notes, Math, and zoom. It also has PDF export, touch navigation, and many other features that you should explore as well. I hope you found Reveal.js useful and I hope you start making beautiful presentations with it. If you learned something new in this video, please press the like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget that if you want to learn things like JavaScript, Python, React, React Native, Go, Dart, Flutter, among many, many others for absolutely free, all you have to do is click the link below to join any of our many free courses that you can take right now absolutely free with me. Click the link below and I will see you there. Onjana, kamsahago, sarang hamida. See you on the next one. Dao me bayo. Bye bye.